Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to learn about the amplitude modulation by using LT spice. Okay. So we will learn how will you simulate the amplitude modulation in LT spice. Okay. So I'll explain you how the carrier signal looks like, how the message signal looks like, and how can how can mix you can mix both carrier and message signal and how you can generate the modulated signal okay so i'll run the simulation in lt spice and i'll show you i'll show you how the modulated signal looks like okay so if you follow the video at the end you will ending you will you will surely learn something new today okay this is called the topic is today is very important guys this is amplitude modulation okay so let us understand what is the carrier signal okay so basically you can see here this is carrier signal this is message signal this is also called modulating signal message signal or modulating signal and this is called amplitude modulation or modulated signal okay so let me show you how i have generated the carrier signal in lt spice okay so just right click on this this is voltage source this is nothing but this is voltage source so i took one voltage source from here guys okay this is nothing is simple a voltage source okay you can see this is simple voltage source so this is voltage source so i took this voltage source from the component list and i have connected this ground symbol okay you can see this is ground symbol here this is the ground symbol and i have defined the label here you can define the label this is label okay so this is this is carrier signal and i name this label to the carrier signal so just right click on this uh, voltage source v1 which is called carrier signal and you can see i have selected the sine wave with DC offset this is very important guys here to understand the DC offset for carrier signal should be zero I have defined the amplitude for carrier signal is one and you can see the frequency for this carrier signal is 50 kilohertz so this is all about the carrier signal now let us go back to the modulating signal or message signal I named here is masses but you can also call it modulating signal so just right click on it here and you can see this is also a sinusoidal pulse and you can see this is having the dc offset so dc offset is an important part of amplitude modulation so this is dc offset then you can see this is amplitude is reduced okay so if i say the dc offset that means your amplitude is shifted by 0.5 volt I'll, I'll show you in in the simulation okay the amplitude of this massive signal or modulated sig modulating signal is 0.5 volt and you can see here this is 500 500 hertz so what i'm trying to do is here i have 50 kilohertz signal and i have also I have also 500 kilohertz signal with the DC shift of 0.5 volt okay and the amplitude and amplitude is 0.5 volt and the DC shift for this modulating signal is 0.5 volt so I have 50 kilohertz carrier signal and I have I have 500 Hertz what massive signal so I am trying to modulate I am trying to mix both carrier signal and massive signal okay so both carrier signal and message signal so i will try what i do is i will do the voltage multiplexing voltage multiplication in lt spice so how will you get this source this b1 is very important so to choose this b1 source you need to go at this component button and you can see here here i see the vv b v okay so i'll right click on it here so what you can see this is b2 here this is b1 and they have defined the multiplication factor in the terms of voltage so v equals to they are trying to multiply the the volt uh, voltage and frequency here v equals to function of what 
carrier signal and the message signal so you just right click on it here you can see here the value and what you can see value equals to v times of v times of what v bracket carrier into masses so you can see here i have carrier and i have masses so i am multiplying with this mixing with with v1 and v2 okay so i am mixing in v1 both v1 and v2 that means i am multiplying v1 and v2 so that is all about how will you generate like the carrier signal message signal and the modulated signal okay now let me run the simulation okay and let me show you the waveform guys so you can see this is your carrier signal how it looks like you can see here let me zoom out so this is nothing but what what is it is one one uh, two volt peak to peak with the frequency of 50 kilohertz now let me show you the message signal so in order to see the message signal you can see here okay this is the message signal and you can see v carrier in blue and v message in green and you can see here this is this is what this is that this is having the dc offset of 0.5 volt that means it, it start from 0 volt and it goes to 1 volt that means it has starting point for this signal is 0 volt and it goes to 1 volt so this is your your modulating signal or message signal now let me show you the modulated signal okay how modulated signal look like okay cool guys okay so this is your modulated signal what what is this this is your VAM you can see clearly your modulated signal here right so this is your modulated signal that means you are mixing your carrier signal and you are also mixing your your message signal let me reduce this to 40 okay and let me run again now you can clearly see right let me further reduce to let me say 20 so so this is now pretty good okay this is pretty cool i see okay okay you you can see this is your modulated signal that means you are mixing here your carrier signal and your modulating signal okay and if you if you are trying to run the fft for this modulated signal okay so just click on this waveform here this window right click on it here and you can see here the icon view just go go at this icon view and just scroll down and you you can see this is fft fft stands for fast fourier transform so i'll show you the fft of v masses so you can see the fft of v masses okay okay now you have two window okay okay guys now you have two window let me show you okay now you have two window one window stands for uh, this is this is your modulated signal and this is your fft of your modulated signal so you can see here here you can see this is lower frequency band you can see this is the lower frequency band and you can see here different different frequency spectrum so what i will show you what is how will you see the lower side band how will you see you the carrier frequency and how will you see the higher side band or upper side band okay so in order to do this let me show you all three waveform together so this is your carrier signal okay now i will show you this is your message signal okay now the third one is this is your modulated signal so just click on this window this window and try to find out again fft okay so just go at view and go at fft and now this time you need to select the fft of all three signals amplitude carrier and masses let us see so just select all three and let's see how it looks like okay how your fft is fft is fft looks like okay 
so that is how you can see this is your lower frequency band you can clearly see in v message this is your lower frequency band now just click on here guys click on here so let me click wow amazing here so you can see here this is your carrier frequency okay which is around what was your carrier frequency it was 50 kilohertz right you can see clearly guys this is nothing this is nothing but this is your carrier frequency which you can clearly see in the fast Fourier waveform it's a 50 kilohertz and this is your lower sideband frequency this here i can see here and this is your ha this is your let's say your lower sideband frequency and this is your higher sideband frequency and clearly guys you can see this is your carrier frequency which is centered around 50 kilohertz this is your lo lower sideband frequency and this is your higher sideband frequency okay now you have three waveforms right now you have your circuit you have your the modulated signal which looks like this and now you can see you have how how you the fft of your message signal looks like and how the fft of your masses uh, masses carrier and amplitude modulation looks like and you can see clearly in the amplitude modulation waveform you can see clearly you have the carrier frequency you have the lower sideband frequency and you have the higher sideband frequency okay so hope you understood how will you simulate the amplitude modulation in lt spice if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video